Hello and welcome back to the She Gallery Show. Thank you for being with us today and thank you for being with us, June. How are you? Can you hear me? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> yep, I can hear you. Awesome. So today we are here with uh, June Ju, and uh, June mm -hmm. is with Activate Shy. That is a grassroots grassroots activist organization out of Chicago. Um, she is also an artist, an artivist, and she is originally from South Korea. And she's been here for for a few years now and got involved with um with activate shy uh june do you want to talk to us a little bit about yourself your background as an artist and how you got involved with activate shy mm -hmm. um so like you said i'm from south korea i moved here for my art education and career when i was 14. um so i would say uh, everything really began when i moved here nine years ago um <clears throat> and i got in involved in Activate Chai because my partner's friend was returning from Minneapolis, a uh, street medic, and she wanted to organize a peaceful protest in Chicago following that event. And she reached out to my partner asking to be medical response team for that protest. And I initially took care of the fundraising for medical supplies and jail bail uh, bail funds um and, but after the fundraising part was over um, anything art related such as painting uh, blm banners to be used in events and etc awesome so um i personally got a chance to meet june um, as many as as we've talked about before, probably when we reflected on on uh, coronavirus in the beginning of the season, we talked about some of the things that she gallery was involved with, and uh, we talked about Junith, and we talked about the Black Lives Matters protest, and I was able to show you guys a clip of some of these protests, and one of those protests, one of the most powerful protests that I attended, was one of the protests that. Activate Shy organized here in Chicago, and how many how many people um, showed up to that protest? The one that took place over at um by by the Ashland Green Green Line Station. Uh, I forget the name of that park. Uh huh. Um, I think it was at Union Park. Yes, at Union and, Park. How many it, how many people showed up to that event? Thirty to thirty five k. That is 30 to 35K organized by a brand new grassroots organization, Activate Shy. And something called me to this, to this protest. I said, I want to hear it. I want to know more about it. I'm signed up to all of the protests that happen here in Chicago so that I can see what's going on in the city, find out what we can do, even if it's protesting, uh, volunteering in any form of way. And so I went and I, I created this banner. Um, or this 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 piece of art, I should say, and it's called. It says uh, "Black Lives Matters," and then it says, uh, "I can't breathe. Queremos respirar." So, as we know, George Floyd was um, suffocated to death, and now the news are bringing up more situations that more people were in the same situation but hadn't spoken up. Maybe because we've just so used to these type of things happening. But with George Floyd's incident, everybody felt more comfortable uh, with opening up and saying, hey, you know what, we, we do have to take a stand and we have to do this together. And uh, Activation is a perfect example of a bunch of strangers that came together and formed an organization to help others. And um, I also created this shirt that I, that I wore and it says, um, Love Conquers, and it says uh, Black Lives Matters, and it's just an old T-shirt that I that I put together to wear for this protest. And I got to hear That's this lovely. really amazing uh, roster of activists, really young activists, extremely informative um, in many aspects of systematic racism. And then I saw a woman doing life painting that later I found out was June. So I just showed up to the protest, had to hear what they said, was wowed by the response 
and then later June finds me. She finds my artwork and she asks me to help them with a Black Lives Matters uh, banner, which I was glad to do. And that's where I got a chance to hear and learn a little bit more about Activate Shy, um, including um, Gaddy Casol, who will be joining us shortly as well. She is also one of the Activate uh, Shy speakers. So your role with Activate Shy now forms as more as an art curator. And how do you see um, art helping spread the message in, in, in protest? What's the connection with art and protesting? Um, art has been used for statement making for ever since it existed. So, so there is art and protest and political anything or human life is inseparable. And art also is a attention grabber. People who may not stop and look at a banner may look at art piece and see, wonder what the piece is about. And I also think it's very important that artists get involved in movements like this uh, because it really shows that anyone can participate and help the movement the way they are. It's a great message. And so you tell us that you come from um, South Korea, 13, and you've been making art since as long as you can remember. Um, what, what do you see the difference between art here in Chicago and the States and art in South Korea? What, what gravitated you to, to this side of the world to study art? Yes. Um, <laughs> the reason I gravitated towards United States in, term, in terms of um, artistic career and education is because Korea is very, they paint and create within the box and they have, they're have they very heavily focused on realism and they um, do not make art that have message, like social or political message as much as American art allows artists to do. And I think that is cultural obsession with perfection and realism. Um, that has existed since World War II. Uh, <clears throat> so that is the reason why I came here to study art. But I also notice now that the way American uh, artists are allowed to express art in different mediums, such as spray painting, murals, and digital art, they're very, very vocal about their message. They're vocal about what they're speaking about and they're very good and fluent in that language of art versus I feel like South Korea, th there are definitely artists, contemporary artists that seek to spread certain messages. But first of all, what the message is about is very different. For example, Black Lives Matter uh, art would be much more prevalent in United States than in Korea, just because there is not the same racial tension. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of Korean political art speak about um, gender equality and uh, LGBTQ uh, rights, but that is about extent to how political or social movement -y it gets. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Well, we're, we're glad to have you and so glad that you're involved with Activate Shy. Now, Activate Shy, um, what can you tell us about Activate Shy? You guys have organized three protests. For, for us that want to learn a little bit more about Activate Shy, what is it that we need to know? What has Activate Shy done to help um, during these troubling times and continues to do? Activate Chai, uh, as you've described for me, began, uh, formed out of the one initial big protest. But moving on from then, we decided to let um, our individual members to take the lead and organize their own protest while the organization itself uh, lending the resources and like working all together. Uh, for the individual leading the organization, organizing work. Mm -hmm. um, and other than that, we have helped numerous protests organized by other grassroots organizers and organizations such as um, BLM Chai, uh, BSA, 
and et cetera. There are many more that are working on individual level outside of organizations, so it's hard to list everybody, but we've been mostly doing that. And now our focus is voting initiatives now that um, the time is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the time is coming. Um, one of the things that really captured my attention while attending this protest uh, was listening to all of these activists speak and, and Getty Kaso, who you'll have a chance to meet, one of the first things that she said was, write your, write your phone number, write two phone numbers here, your emergency contact and somebody else. She said, I have my sister and I have my attorney. So when she said, I have my sister and I have my attorney, uh, when you have your attorney as an emergency contact, it speaks volumes of the risk that these activists are taking. You know that you do run the risk of, of being um, somehow uh, getting in, in trouble in a way by, by, um, by, by uh, authorities that are really um, sometimes to, to, to certain degrees harming protest that are trying to have peaceful protest. Um, the protest that I attended was extremely peaceful. And as we know, there's many protests that are not as peaceful. Um, so these activists are actually taking a really big, huge risk um, because of the, the power of the importance of these times that we are in. And the importance is to get involved. And for those of us that may not be able to make it to all of the protests or can't or have health conditions, we know that we also have COVID going on. Everybody has to wear their masks. And we encourage all protesters to continue to wear your masks, continue to wear hand sanitizer, continue to help others. So while staying safe, while staying as safe as possible, continue to spread this message, um, whether it's through art or through encouraging others to vote. Now, Activate Shy, something else that Activate Shy is doing right now actively, actively, is encouraging you to vote. And there is a link that we will be sharing with you on our website and through Can TV stations for anybody that wants to volunteer to help people register at the polls for this election. Now, June, can you please talk to us about the importance of, of voting and how our vote does count? What is, um, how, does, how is Activate Shy helping others to, to get encouraged to vote? This is an, a really young organization which is reaching a, a generation that probably used to not vote before, and now we all see this importance. What can you talk to us about? What can you tell us about the, the vote? Um, so vote, it's, it's what we're working on now, and we are definitely aiming diverse uh, diversity of populations from young people um, to uh, older generations in the local area of the city. Um, it, I, we believe that it is important to vote because not, not just presidential election, but like elections for all levels of government and representatives, they are the ones that make active changes to day-to-day -day laws that we live by. And not many of us realize that, and not many, of, even more many of us don't do our research to look into who can represent us, who can serve us the best. And by doing that is the only way to pressure um, governors or representatives of any governmental level to listen to us and do things that serve us or because they will realize that now we, we care and we will only elect you if you do ABC that are on our agenda. Um, and I personally have been working on a little hand sheet for young college students and there have been initiatives where we are organizing a bus carpool to the pole or making sure uh, accurate information about voting is being spread through a safe media, such as, you know, how there was a um, 
big scandal, Donald Trump uh, got rid of many, many USPS uh, mailboxes to hinder the voting um, yeah. pro- process. It seems really illegal things- to me, by the way, but mm-hmm, what do I Right. <laughs> it's crazy. It's yeah. really, really crazy. And people, young people that have social media are likely to receive the information about that and know what to do if you can't uh, mail your uh, vote, but a lot of older older generations without the access to the information may not know. So we are working on just accessibility of information by handbooks or making calls or making flyers, et cetera. There are a lot of small things that we're working on together, but as the time is approaching, I believe we're going to be working on something even bigger. Who knows? Yeah. And it seems like such an urgency um, from what I've seen, from from just having conversations with Uber drivers, with with so many people of so many backgrounds, as you've mentioned. Um, and I really enjoy talking to different Uber drivers because you really do get like all kinds of different different walks of life and different situations. And that always seems to be the topic of conversation. It's just been the topic of conversation for probably the last few months. We have to get this president out. We have to get this president out. And it seems the only way to do that is by voting. Um, what, what, what do you personally feel is the urgency for you and for all the members of Activate Shy for people to vote? And why is it important to reelect somebody that is going to properly um, represent us that has not done so in the past and do you feel like this is possible um i believe um there are a couple questions but i believe that voting is urgent for me personally because i am a queer non-binary person who is also a survivor and an immigrant there are many things that are that describe me that donald trump is openly against and he, he has passed many or tried to pass many laws um, that, are, that go against all these part of me. And also, um, you know, I probably don't have to list all the things that he said or done. Yes. But uh, in, in terms of um, po- fees- feasibility, of voting him out or voting in uh, local governors that would represent us better, I definitely think that it is possible, but there is a lot of work to be done. But I uh, and I am trying to stay hopeful about this election, but I'm more so trying to focus on um, spreading awareness and helping uh, people research their local or smaller uh, government representatives and governors, because those people make laws that affect our daily lives, like I said. Um, And though since the voting turnout is relatively very low, even lower than the presidential election for these officials, uh, that to me seems like a more feasible, like faster way of fixing day-to-day things Mm -hmm. Um, I can't on top of my head come uh, think of all the upcoming elections for Illinois and Chicago but for example um, our governors now don't really represent us you know and um, I think the more people know about these elections and look into uh, electing officials that represent us and serve us will really be a start of uh, progressive change, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Yeah, that's a good opinion. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so again, we're recapping on the importance of voting, how you can get involved by voicing your vote. Um, don't be discouraged by by some of what these a negative, you know, like getting rid of the mailboxes or or, say, or or thinking, having this mentality that, oh, they're going to pick whoever they're going to pick anyway. My voice doesn't count because your voice does count. 
Um, we had celebrated 100 years, the 100 years of the, the women's suffrage about a, a couple of weeks ago, so women were able to vote. And that was because people continued to protest, keep people continued to push. Um, yeah, it took 75 or 72 years, however long it was, but that's just how important this is, and that's why those people continue to fight for centuries. Um, so again, we want to thank Activate Shy, and we want to take we want to thank June for for sharing your story, for being an amazing artist. We didn't get to check out much of your work. We see some here in the okay. background, but we will have one. your contact information on our website so people people can connect with you and and visit more of your um, your art, and find out how we can help um, continue to help Activate Shy in protests or in spreading the message um, to vote. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us that you feel is important? Not that I think I can think of. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again so much. And we thank you for being with us. And we'll see you again next week. Thank you. Thank you so much.